Sanders of Teleti. Met a good morning, Nigeria. Sure, we get a very, very casual guest in the house. Somebody who we don't get here before uh, in the same capacity. Now we know, say, uh, very, very soon we're going to celebrate International Day for the girl child and uh, so many other things. Now we always attach around the female child. That they say if you train a woman, you train an entire nation. And so we did place particular emphasis and interest on our female children. And there are no other better person to follow us talk this one than Chisum Obumwa. She done day with us before and now she don't come back. Uh, and then they get a very casual program where they always arrange called the Conversation Cafe, where they talk about how to improve the, you know, improve the, she the, the quality children. of women now. Uh, we get quality women already, so <laughs> to improve the girl child, the things that we're supposed to do, what we're not supposed to do. She's even a very young lady, where they're very, very passionate about women. Uh, I don't go say she be feminist, but very passionate about women and about girls particularly. She's so welcome to our studio again. Thank you. Uh -huh. you, you are looking like they are abroad. <laughs> <laughs> because I just came back you just from came the abroad. Back. So you know, I, I JGB, I just got back. Yes. yes. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Nice. Okay, now we know say this is not the first time we're not going to do the conversation cafe. So why why is this this month's own? Why this month's own will come day different? Because they lay plenty of emphasis on this month's own. So um, it's a tradition for the conversation cafe to always have um, a session, particularly for the girl child. And I don't want to say this is coming from a selfish point of view because I'm female, mm. but I'd rather say it's coming from you know we rise by lifting others. Up. Most of my team are made up of females, and I can see myself in these teenage girls. Mm -hmm. And sometimes they look up to me and they say, you know what, you inspire me and things like that. And it's just okay and necessary for me to, you know, let them know the basic steps that are necessary to become whoever it is that they want to be. So yes, it's a tradition for the Conversation Cafe to remind them, to give them an open call to action on what it is that they are to do and how to behave. Okay. Now, um, recently we also don't see say a lot of children are out of school, particularly now in, for instance, like this Obodo, Nigeria. I will say um, a good number of them now. You know, girls. Yeah. Um, which kind of topics? Which one are they do to educate people? I, I know say this one will be just for the for the girls, for the parents. Yeah. Particularly, which kind of message that they try to push towards the parents of these um, young girls? Girls. You yeah. Know, to to help them know, say education day important for girls as it is for boys as yeah. well. Yeah. Well, truth is, um, over one billion youth people that we have, we have about six hundred million young teenage girls mm. who do not either have access to education or some set of training or skills. And it's very important that we keep emphasizing the importance of education. We keep um, emphasizing the importance of skills and training. So we try to let them know how they could maximize their possibilities their potentials. I mean, the team for the um, the team for the International Day of the Girl Child this year is with her, a skilled girl force. Mm -hmm. And I think that's basically trying to say how very important it is for every young child to have access to either being trained, being educated, or being um, um, being educated in any form possible. So yes, yeah, so we're going to teach them. And we're going. No, we're not teaching them, but we're going to try to talk to them and inspire them on how they can be very innovative with some of the potentials that they have in them, and how they can build with it. But people who are privileged to do so, and people who do not necessarily have access to certain things, I still feel like there's a bit of information everywhere you are that you can gather. All right. Now, according by United Nations, they say about 60 percent of out-of-school children, for instance, Nigeria, and our girls, then be so. You know, say the, the, the percentage is you know is still in disadvantagedly to the girls, yeah. unfortunately. So at uh, the conversation cafe and one of the programs where it really they helpful uh, to the girl child. But also uh, for for now me, I quickly like to talk. Say as you and a person wait on the uh, you are half and half, half of the abroad and half of the Nigeria. <laughs> so you don't see the difference of how you know the girl child abroad. How do they take? How did they take care of them? How did they put them for almost the same margin with male children? How there's hardly any difference, hardly any uh, tilt in the balance of yeah. the Google talk as compared to we Obodo Nigeria for here now. Yeah. Now, which kind uh, um, lesson you don't learn about how did they take take care of their girl child for there? We won't bring come into our own side here now. To be very honest, I think I just have one word, and that one word is let all of us rise. Like that is it because. Um, 
you said it all it's it's very obvious first and foremost in abroad mm. education is free close to free for literally everybody so there is no there is no barrier between the male and the female because there's already something that makes it convenient for every gender to have access to education but now in nigeria most times it's let him go to school so mm. that you know he can get educated and make money for the whole family so like a lot of things are attached to it there's culture and the rest of it all um but i just think that we need to do better we really need to do better as regards merging merging um um um, um both genders together not just education but other skills i mean in America, there are female basketballers. In America, there are female um, American football players and the rest of it all. How many of these people do we take serious here in the country? And I know they are very talented people like that, but you know, we don't even open our borders to listening and to um, welcoming female people do that. And it sucks, but yeah. we could do better. It yeah. sucks. Mm. When we both talk with it, yeah, it sucks. <laughs> All right, now Thank very you quickly, for when, when, uh, I won't ask, since when did I start the conversation, Cafe? So we started December 2016, mm. um, but this is going to be the second time. We, we started on um, the hashtag Dear Teenage Girls for Girls last year. So this is the second time we would be having okay. the session. And so far, how you go take judge the, the progress rate? What's been the changes where you don't notice from when I don't start up until now when I don't reach? Because it's almost two years now. Yes. To be very honest, I was just thinking about this last night and I could see so much growth. So last year we had a set, we, I just wanted a small session for girls. It wasn't really going to be a conversation cafe session and then it turned out to be so. And I hosted 50 girls for that session. And this year I said to myself that, oh, okay, you know what? I think we should double it. And we spoke to, we spoke to the team about it. And right now we're going to be hosting 100 girls from 10 schools. Mm. So I think that is growth. I think there is progress because we're reaching out to more people. And I say, I always say that every action begins with a conversation. So even if we are having 100 girls and at least just one girl listens intensively to what we have to say she has she has every right to change her world and change the people around her from the things that she has learned so far and a host of other things i mean the speakers and so many other things the team the team is growing as well the content is getting bigger and more um is getting broader than it used to be before it was just one focus focus point which is good but you know people want to also listen to other things what about people who do not have access to education what are the options that they could have and and yeah, so like I'm really impressed by our growth and I'm looking forward to further amazing things that we would do in the future. Beautiful. Now, I've been just looking at the clip where they play on air about uh, some, some of the things we I don't do last year. How do they take get some of these? How do they take to get the girls from the schools? Do they send invitations to the schools or is, is it open or is there a selected uh, uh, group of schools where they reach out to? So firstly, we have to do a research as a political scientist. Mm -hmm. I have to conduct a research and see um, communities and schools that you know need this for this session we always try to in, invite schools so that there's some sort of structure attached to it um, and then because it's strictly for um, for teenage girls so we do a research we, we look out for communities and schools that we think should be a part of this because they need it and then we send invites to them so it's up to the schools to respond to us and tell us if they would deem fit to come or not but then we also give about 10 slots for um, Teenagers who do not have access to schools, we, no, those are teenagers who do not have access to schools or anything like hawkers and things like that. We reach out to them personally and ask them if they want to be part of us and if they feel like, yeah. So we're having like some of those people uh, on Thursday. All right, beautiful. So always, always good to have you here. Same All right, here. So you could quickly tell us when, where and uh, what time. Take so it's going to be at the UN Information Center at um, Alfred Rewani mm -hmm. at Ikoyi. Shout out to them for, you know, coming on okay. board. Thank you. And we start at 10 a.m. and we would have amazing panelists like Omilola Oshikoya, Didi Akielero, Ifoma Idibe and the rest of them. And yes.
Thanks so much. Right. Very beautiful. We will try our best today there too to support the girl child. I'm looking and support forward to you it. As well. All right, thank you very much. So, my conversation cafe this Thursday. Uh, who would like who would like to date there? Go good, make you read, make you hear as notable people they speak about the girls for society. We have to move our girls forward just as we are moving our boys forward. To enjoy more of this, our Ogunke videos when you just watch, press this button to subscribe on top of our YouTube page. You go love her.